This is your guy, S.D. Booker, with a toast to the men. Before you listen to this video, hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the like button. Hit that like button. Let's go. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Welcome to A Toast to the Men with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for the support. Thanks for joining me. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Let's go. Now, today I got a very, very special guest, my wife, Yaya. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me. You're welcome. Now, this was last minute. Uh, I did bring up this topic to you last night, but uh, I don't think you knew you were going to be on the platform. No, I did not. I didn't, I didn't either, but uh, because of something we saw online maybe an hour ago, yeah. I said, hey, I got to go ahead and jump on this. And uh, typically, I would have a female's perspective who's outside the home. You know, this might be too close for comfort, but we're going to do it. Right. Now, the topic is, brothers, should you trust your spouse 100%? What are your thoughts, Yaya? We've had this discussion before, and I think you do a good job of learning who I am, where I fit in, where I can be utilized. And then you take those strengths and strengthen them more. Mm -hmm. But as far as trusting me 100% with everything, no. Okay. Okay. Now, aside from not being able to trust you 100% with, with everything, <clears throat> I don't think I don't think everybody uh, wants everything mm -hmm. on their plate. You can get overwhelmed. But just from a character perspective, uh, do you think I should be able to trust you 100%? From a character aspect, your character, do you think I should be able to trust you 100%? See, we could go... We can dig on this because if I take it back to how we started, uh -huh. I would say no because I was at a different place. Okay. Okay. And I did show some things that were questionable regarding my character. I understand that. Right. Right. So that took some learning. Now, and for the record, this had nothing to do with infidelity. Right. Because that's what people would take it. Right. They would think automatically go there when you say character issues. It had nothing to do with infidelity. Right. But some other issues. There were some other issues. Right. So, so at that point, no, I couldn't be trusted because you needed some other things. And I didn't take the time to maybe purge some of my issues from the past mm. before bringing you into my life. Maybe I wasn't honest with what I was dealing with or my personality issues or my character issues. And I didn't realize I had some flaws. So <clears throat> there were different issues that were brought to the table. So when I, when I reflect over those things, I would say no. Now, you, you bring up something very important. You said there were some things you didn't even recognize. Right. So, I didn't plan on going there, but you, you brought that up. So, do you think uh, when you when we got together, I raised the bar of accountability and held and, and, and said, "Hey, this this is this is how we move. This is the accountability bar right here." Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. I mean, had you never been called out or that had never been established by any man? No. No. No one. Your dad? No one. So I'm the first cat to say, hey, <laughs> this ain't rocking. This is the bar for the house. Right. Yes. And this is how we ride. Yes. <laughs> Are you surprised? No. I'm just kind of basking <laughs> kind of basking in it right now but 
<laughs> but so you had your work cut out. You know, I had I don't know. I'm gonna say I had my work cut out. Um, I'm a teacher by nature, not by profession, but by nature, it's in me to teach, to God, to lead. So uh, I knew in, in my mind, I said, hey, you know, either she going to get on board or this ain't going to work. You know what I'm saying? I knew I wasn't, I wasn't sticking around for, you know, I know, I know the bar that, that has to be set mm -hmm. with uh, the, the woman I'm with, the friends I have, uh, children. I know the bar mm -hmm. that has to be set. If you're gonna if you're gonna be connected with me, and so uh, so you either gonna get down or get going. Get going. <laughs> yeah. So based on what you saw mm -hmm. in me in the beginning, um, the flaws, mm -hmm. the issues. As you reflect back on that, would you say you could trust me? Well, that isn't the part trusting you. The question is, trust you 100%. Okay. Right. No. <clears throat> what was the percentage? Back then? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's the same percentage as it is now. It's, it's going to be like that with anybody. If, 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 if uh, you know, God forbid, you pass. Mm -hmm. And I was reconnect with a woman. Or connect with the woman um, on a serious level, the trust percentage would be the same for her. What is it? <laughs> it's about it's about seventy five to eighty percent. Yeah, I, I believe even Michael Max said he only trusts uh, Betty. Eight, <laughs> <laughs> he only trusts Betty eighty five percent, and that he's like that's pretty good eighty five percent. That's Betty Shabazz, Malcolm X. So, and, and I think what it is, it's not that you distrust, I distrust you. It's that I have to remember, and men, I think men have to remember that women have different weaknesses than men. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So, you can e or easily uh, uh, lay it astray. Or can succumb to different things, materialistic things, superficial things, mm -hmm. right? Because when a woman gets in her head, this is what I want, she can be selfish, and that's what she's going to get. That's what she's going to do, so right? And, 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 he's... And, and neglect, you know what I'm saying, the principles, right. what it's supposed to do. Another thing we have to equate into that, regardless of being a woman, you're a human. Right. So humans are flawed. Human, humans are not perfect. We make mistakes. So those are the two um, dynamics that, that, that uh, and that's with anyone, that uh, will raise it to, or bring it to 75 to 80% 80, 80 of trust. Okay. But it's not that distrust. It's just that, hey, I'm alert. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm listening. I'm watching. And you got to be awake uh, because your woman will get weak. So your goal has never been to trust at 100%? No. Never. That's never my goal. Okay. Never my goal. Never will be my goal. Ever. I mean, just just be being honestly, I'll say, so we got 10 years in. Mm -hmm. Nine years married, uh, 10 years together. In that 10 years... How many times would you, would you say you've neglected some things financially and say, man, this is what I want. I'm going to do this. I want to buy this. I'm going to get whatever. Mm -hmm. This is what I want. I know I'm supposed to be doing this. This needs to be done. But this is what I'm doing because I just, I want it. Mm -hmm. How many times do you think you've done that in 10 years? Probably about 10, 10 to 15 times. Okay. How many times do you think I've done it? 30? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, about five or six. 
five or six. Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> no. You said no. What do I think? <laughs> no, no, no. Can you can you <laughs> recall situations where I've done that? Yes. Okay. I don't want to talk about them. No. Where I where I neglected the business and and put it on personal stuff. I would say twice. How do you go from five or six to twice? When you when you when you when you worded it like that. That's what I I worded, like that, worded like, I that. worded like that. I worded like that before. You worded like that. I worded like that before. I said neglect you, the, the business, business and and put it on personal stuff. Okay. I say zero. You say twice. I say zero. I say zero. I fight. I've only had, I say twice, I fought temptation not to do the right thing and just warn it. I said, yeah. no, I ain't going to do that. Let me handle my business. I fought temptation twice, but actually to go through with it, I can't remember a situation. You, so you don't remember any situations where purchases were made, where they shouldn't have been made, the timing was off. Maybe should have been delayed. No, nah. not not with me, not without me having a plan. No, nah. if I do something like that, I got a plan. I have a plan. I didn't have a plan. No. I don't know something. About. I can name one specifically. So now we go from five or six to two. Now one. No, I was just you said let's talk about it. Okay, so, but I don't. <clears throat> I don't have to be, I don't want to get into the, okay. to the so history of it. Okay, so 10 years in, mm -hmm. you say twice, I've done that. That ain't, that ain't bad. <laughs> that ain't bad. <laughs> but that goes back to why um, I, won't, I won't trust you at 100%. Because I just know that it's the nature of a woman. Mm -hmm. Right. It's, it just it just it is what it is. It's the nature of a woman. Um, it's the nature of a man. And when I say nature, I'm not saying every woman, every man, but we're speaking to the masses, the majority. I think it's the nature of a man to be responsible. To be responsible. Um, if you notice. I didn't. I I don't remember how many times you you've done that, wasted money or whatever, or didn't do the right thing. I don't remember. You just <laughs> you just shot a number out there, but I don't I don't remember. You you called them out. Not everyone. I don't remember. I don't have a number. Okay. But you had a number on mine. So, but do you think it's higher than fifteen? Probably. See. <clears throat> Probably, but I don't so have you, a number. But this 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 is my point. I'm looked at a certain way. If I if I'm not responsible, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. You're not. I don't look at you the same way as you look at me. If you're not responsible, you notice that. Mm -hmm. You'll look at me to say, you know, you had a number. <laughs> <laughs> you had a number. See, I'm looked at differently. I don't look at you that way because I don't expect that from you. You know what I'm saying? I don't expect that from you. But I will say, you've gotten you've gotten better. Got a lot better. I will say that. So, do you think it's at a man's detriment to trust a woman at a hundred percent? Yes, I think he can get lost and distracted. Definitely lose some focus. So. Do you think not only does a man have to stay alert and have a watchful eye, but <laughs> let me see how I say this. <laughs> Just say it. <laughs> do, uh, <laughs> do you think a brother needs to keep, keep a foot on a neck? <laughs> you said to say, do you think a brother needs to keep a foot on a neck to make sure she's taking care of what she's supposed to take care of? Maybe a, a, a couple of toes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's necessary. Okay. Now. Because we do. I mean, we're emotional. We get off track. We're fickle in our thinking. That's that's the real. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes we have to be brought back. 
I mean, I've seen my mom growing up be irresponsible. Uh, and she was at the same job, decent pay for 30 years, mm -hmm. single mom, no child support coming in. Uh, she really didn't, she really wasn't in, in a position to be irresponsible. But I think innately it was in her to say, hey, man, I'm just, I'm going to do something for me. I'm going to do something for me. Um, as a man, I don't really think like that. I think at, at one point, you have to tell me to go shop. Then you say, so, then you have to say, man, go get you some clothes. Yes. Like, go go get you some clothes. But is that a bad, is that a hold, bad thing? Hold up. To, I, would, I would go shop. And before I ring it up, I'm thinking about, man, this money could go here, this go here. I could buy kids this. I could do this. And I put the stuff all back up. Have you ever done that? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. But, okay. but okay. is it a bad thing to want to go out and get something for yourself every now and then? It's no, not a bad thing. I don't. It's not a bad thing. I definitely don't do it as much as I used to. Right. But it's a good feeling. Yeah. Yeah. So. I ain't even tripping on it. Uh, I ain't tripping. I'm just telling you about the differences, how we think and how women think. You know what I'm saying? I get right. satisfaction making sure everything's good. That's my high. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's my high for it. But you have you have things that you like. Well, my belief, uh, cig cigars. Uh, you have your me time. You have yeah. you have your cigars and you you have your quality cigars. Yeah, quality so, cigar, quality cigars, and uh, my my quality beverages. Right. And so my thing may be a couple of outfits or a purse or some shoes. What's wrong with that? That's not even equal. It does, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about <laughs> All right. price. All right. yeah. I'm not talking about price. All right, okay. I'm just talking about personal satisfaction. I don't have an issue with it. But uh, I don't have an issue at all. I'm just bringing out the differences of how men think mm -hmm. and how women think. And this is just one of the reasons no man should trust a woman 100%. Like, because y'all don't have the, the thought process like we have of being responsible and providing and sacrificing like we're willing to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I just don't think y'all wired like that. And it's not a bad thing. It keeps us on point, keeps us disciplined, uh, knowing that we got to have a watchful eye. Like, it's, it's sharpening us. And then so, we we sharpen you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's a balance. So you said you trust me 75%. Mm -hmm. Now that other 25%, is that stressful to you? Mm -mm. That other 25% that you're holding on to? I ain't even holding on to it. It's just, uh, it is what it is. I accept it for what it is. It, it's, it's just, it's. So what if your math uh, is off? What if I can be trusted one hundred percent? Your math is off. You you don't even think you could be trusted one hundred percent. I mean, it's not I slipped. Yeah, in. yeah, I know. <laughs> Good try, but yeah, you don't believe you could be trusted one hundred percent. So why would I do that? Yeah. So, uh, and I see, I see guys fall into that. I see on social media, especially on Facebook, guys making posts about about their women and. Uh, Man, just putting them on a pedestal. And, and you know, now and, and, that I see that. <clears throat> but these same guys, right. you'll see later, now weeks later or months later, complaining and crying about their woman. How right. she disappointed him, how uh, they're having problems. He's, he's spilling all this out on Facebook. And that's because... Things were out of order. Mm -hmm. His mindset wasn't right. He put all this trust into this woman, and she was just being a woman. She's being a woman, so he should have never done that. Uh, and I see guys, I see guys do that too often, and uh, they end up hurt, but hurt. It's just not a good move, fellas. Uh, but I, but I told you that I left a relationship. Because of that same reason. Because of what? He was just giving, giving, giving. All those things that I like. Just giving, giving, giving. But when it came down to taking care of business, taking care of the car or um, 
taking care of the tires, just, you know, manly stuff. Right. He couldn't provide that. But he could go and buy a purse and some shoes and have that sent to me to take the place of those. What he could do. Right. You bring up something very important, and we didn't plan on going into this, but it's, yeah, so this this uh this video is gonna turn into something broader probably. So that brings up masculinity. And my boy Immortal Mind, shout out to him. You know, he he uh I believe did a, a two or three part uh episode on masculinity. Uh the high value man, mm -hmm. uh this whole high value man just being a cover up uh of a lack of masculinity. Mm -hmm. Uh it's, it's, it's wild. Like you told me before, I think we were coming from Louisiana and uh, in the truck mm -hmm. and I had a blowout. Was that? Right. Was in the truck. Uh -huh. And I had a blowout and uh, pulled over <clears throat> and uh, got out, ran down, did my thing, changed the tire. Probably took me what? Not even 15 minutes. Yeah. And so. Uh, so I got back in the truck. We head on out. And you like, man, you changed that fast. And I'm like, <laughs> just change the tire. And you told me that there's a lot of men that cannot change tires. True. I never knew that. Mm -hmm. I, I never thought about it, but I guess I just assumed that all men... Understand if a young boy doesn't know, but you know, I, I assume all men knew how to change tires. I don't know if I just picked the bad ones out of the litter, but I know three or four out of the one I dated could not. Could not, but they would call AAA, call the insurance, towing company, but they couldn't, they could not change the tire. Wow. So, man, when I came through, I really got some act right, huh? You got some act right. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I am using mess. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But that's it, it, wild to me. You're going to have them thinking I, I, I'm, I was jacked up. I was no, crazy. you weren't jacked up. You, you, you were sheltered. You were sheltered, uh, spoiled. And I just came like, hey, this ain't. This ain't going to be tolerated. It's if you're going to rock with me. I think something happened. I won't go into what happened. Mm -hmm. But that's our first, my first time just having, hey, pull your coattail. I was like, hey, we don't, we don't talk to each other like that. And if you do, again, hey, that's going to be it. So, yeah. No, I don't remember. You don't remember that? Mm -mm. But, uh, yeah, so we've been, we've been uh, Cadillacking since then so um, I'm going to end it with this and we talk about this should and I see this a lot on social media too mm -hmm. should a man's wife be his best friend oh we, we've had this conversation too you say I say no you, you are well, not you should be mine you are not my best friend. Right, but you said you should be mine. Yeah, I should be yours. But you are not my best friend. You are not my best Now, you should have uh, female friends that, you know, you could bounce stuff off with, whatever. Mm -hmm. But even those females, I should have the biggest influence. I should have right. the biggest influence. Because when you got these female best friends, they can sometimes creep in and have big, not you per se, but they can have a bigger influence than the woman's spouse. And that's not good. But I don't think that's best friend. I, I've always considered you my mentor. Mm, you did say that. You did say I'm, I'm your mentor mm -hmm. and, and your teacher. Yeah. Yeah, you did say. So, yeah, I, I could dig that. Yeah, you, you have always said I'm, I'm your mentor. Um, yeah, but, yeah. And, and let me put some context around this. I believe your higher self, the God in you, not outside of you, the God in you, your higher self should be your best friend. That, mm -hmm. that should be your refuge. Uh, on an earthly level, yes, her bosom is my refuge. 
I need that comfort, that pillow, that, that, that feminine comfort sometimes. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, I'm taking it to my higher self to vent, to show my vulnerabilities because I don't think women really want to see that. You don't think so? Y'all want to see that that ugly that ugly side to a man. Y'all want to see that. So, you know, I take it uh, to my higher self. Aside from that, I think it's good for men to have mentors. And I'm not talking about uh, not friends. I'm right. talking about older men, mentors uh, that you guys have. Uh, no personal relationship like that. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't friends. You know, this is a this is a mentor. Mm -hmm. And it ain't mistaken. Uh, let me put this right It ain't mistaken. That uh, the relationship is mentor and mentee. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I believe men should have that. But, uh, no, if you're my best friend, I'm slipping because... That 25% <laughs> right. that's reserved to be alert and keep a watchful eye and pull your coattail is, is, is tampered with. I'm glad you touched on that because I was about to go back into that 25%. Right. I was like, you just need to give that to me then. See, there you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so the consensus is Brothers, <laughs> you should not trust your woman 100%. Now, I'm not saying distrust her, right? I don't have distrust from my, my woman. I just have a, a little percentage reserve to be on point, to stay balanced, to keep, keep a watchful eye. So I ain't slipping and the house doesn't fold. So maybe this, this should be a part two. But like, you know, when you're talking about trusting, mm -hmm. Can you break it down as, as in finances, cheating, handling the business, well, handling the house, <clears throat> the kids? Well, well, we'll break it down a little bit, I guess. Um, it's kind of finances. I do follow-ups. You know what I'm saying? I do follow-ups. Hey, did, did this get taken care of? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Follow-up. Don't just assume that stuff was taken care of. You know, uh, follow up. I, uh, when I was young, I was friends with a guy who was friends with another couple. And uh, he was like, yeah, man. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. He was like, yeah, oh boy, man, he going through it. He said, like, man, what's up? He's like, man, they're about to lose their house. Hmm. I said, okay. Uh, he said, yeah, man, he, he, uh, he thought his wife was paying the mortgage mm. for two years. Mm. She wasn't paying the mortgage. Yeah. Not only did she have a gambling habit, but I want to say she had a side dude. Mm. And before he knew it, he knew it, the constable served them. He he had no clue. Mm. But he put all his trust in this woman. Mm -hmm. She had access to, you know, just, I don't know how they had it arranged financially, but he was a working man uh, in IT. He was a working man. Mm -hmm. And so whatever they had, it, how they had it arranged, she's responsible for writing a check or whatever, taking care of the mortgage. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know what kind of trickery, trickery she was doing, but it wasn't getting paid. I had that same situation in my family it was a cousin who was a truck driver so he would get his check take his check send it to home to his wife you know he was on the road mm -hmm. so he was expecting her to take care of the home none of the bills were getting paid the mortgage wasn't getting paid none of this was he just found it and she had a gambling problem see and that's another thing guys i think i talked to you about this uh, we went to the casino not too long ago i don't know how it came up but uh that's what I'm saying. Those vices, man. Like women have, I think, more vices than men. Uh, the gambling gene, the gambling addiction gene, runs in women more than men. That's mm. a, that's a fact. Uh, that's a fact. My mom even said she had a gambling addiction. 
when we were young or, or maybe before we were born that she had to get right, yeah, which I never, I never knew. But uh, yeah, it just, man, you just got to stay on point. I just believe women are tempted more. Uh, and I could take this biblically if, if, you know, we want to, but I ain't going to go there. Uh, because like people say, those aren't real people or whatever. And they right. may not be real, but it's a history lesson and it's a blueprint and a mirror of us, how we are as a people right. and how we should live in our temptations, our weaknesses and how we should thrive and, and uh, just move about to have heaven on earth where it shows us how we can have hell on earth. So uh, the woman is... The weakest, the weaker vessel in the two. You know what I'm saying? If anybody wants to sell something, he goes to the woman first. That's true. You know what I'm saying? That's they go true. to the woman mm -hmm. first. They, the couple could be walking together. Because mm -hmm. he knows the man, like, man, man I'm, most times the man's like, he's not even bothering. He's not, man, I'm not buying nothing. But the woman gonna hear you out. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and and they know this. It's just, it is what it is. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but we have to be aware of our essence as men, the essence of a woman, uh, our weaknesses as men, weaknesses as women. We got to be honest and not have our heads in the clouds, man. And uh, that's that just is what it is. Now, as far as uh, you said, stand on point uh, with the, tr well, as far as cheating, um, I don't even think about it. And you might you might have had, but I don't think about it. I don't I don't know. Well it's just because when some people hear about trust or hear the trust topic, they're gonna think Right. Another man. Or Yeah, yeah. I think a side piece. I, I, I feel like it's gonna come it's gonna come knocking at my door. I ain't gonna go looking for it. It's gonna come knocking at my door. Uh I ain't never went through your phone. I ain't never went through your purse. Uh, I don't, we ain't never had a conversation or an issue about that. So what I'm talking about trust, I'm not even, the, the cheating thing is not even in my mind. Yeah. Uh, I'm talking about, when, I, when I'm talking about trust, I'm talking about accountability, ownership, and uh, follow through, you know, completing. Right? That's what I'm talking right. about. So, yeah. Yeah. Anything you want to add? No. This is, this is, this is good. Uh, this is good. Good clarity. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, no brothers. I, I'm glad you pulled me in. <laughs> <laughs> it was last minute. I'm glad you joined me. All right. You did good. All right. All right. Hey, from me to you, love, as always. Peace. Peace. Martin, yeah, let me get a, get a double shot of that, uh, you know, Bossy, yeah. No rocks, no chasing, baby.